Hey everyone, welcome back to Memecoin Ninja and today we are going to be diving deep into one of the powerful tool in the deck screener which is the bubble map. And this feature will completely revolutionize how you trade and analyze the meme coins. Whether you are trading on Solana or any other blockchain, this feature is something you absolutely need in your toolkit. You can find the bubble maps right beneath the price chart next to the liquidity providers. So what exactly is bubble maps? Well, it's the first supply auditing tool for the DeFi tokens and NFTs designed to help us identify the risk like wash trading, pump and dump schemes, and even the DAO scams. Essentially, it gives you a full visual breakdown of the top wallet holdings on a specific main coin. Other than that, it's also a security and a risk analysis tool that can prevent you from falling into traps that many traders face when dealing with the meme coins. Let's explore how this tool can elevate your trading. So what's behind this bubble maps? When you first open the bubble map feature on deck screener, you will see a different wallets represented as bubbles with the size of each bubbles proportional to the amount of tokens held by that wallet. But what do these really tells us? The size really matters. A larger bubble means that wallet controls a bigger percentage of the overall supply. You'll want to pay attention to these as a single wallet controlling a large percentage of the total supply can be a major red flag. Why? Because if one of the wallet decides to sell, it could flood the market and crash the price. In some cases, you might even see these bubbles cluster together which indicates that several wallets might be controlled by the same person or group. One of the most powerful aspects of the bubble map is the way it shows wallet interactions. These interactions can reveal a lot about the transparency and the integrity of the tokens you are trading. Now let's look into the tracking transfers. The lines connecting the bubbles represents the blockchain transfers between the wallets. For example, if a wallet A transfers the token to wallet B, you will see a direct line between, the li between these two. These transfers are essential because they help identify whether a small group of wallets is collaborating or acting independently. The multiple transfers between wallets can indicate a coordinated effort to manipulate the market or artificially inflate the token's value. On the flip side, if the wallets aren't transferring tokens between each other, it suggests that the coin is more decentralized and there is a less risk of manipulation. So that's all for today. In the next session, we will see some of the advanced features on the bubble maps.